If I refresh here, we will keep the value 100. Now attack, strong attack, then heal. Then I have to do show log. What show log is doing, it is telling me about all the events which have been called. There is an array on it. If I open that array, first I called an event of player attack. It is telling final monster and player health. And my target was monster. And the value of target was this. Like this, we have console logged it. Let's see how we have done this in array. I have stored all the events in the variable. Player attack, player strong attack, monster attack, player heal and game over. These are five events. Then I took an empty button log array and wrote a function. In that function, I have passed all five events. Then I have checked. If my event coming from above is log player attack, then make an object of log entry. I made an object of log entry and defined properties in that. This the event, then value assigned to it. Target is hard coded, so I have defined its property here, target monster. Final player health and the monster health is coming like this from above. Then I put a semicolon and its object is closed. The brackets are closed in front of the if conditions. If my event after log player attack is player, strong attack, then all values will remain same. My target is monster, a target will only change in else if condition. If it is not player strong attack, then which attack will be that? We checked monster attack, target and values are same. Target is player, in else if condition, if it is heal, so the target is player. Then we checked in else if. If it is game over, then there is no target. We simply wrote these values. When our else if condition end, then we pushed here log entry. Button log the empty array we made. Then we call this function. We have called it at end round. Now we have to pass values. First we have to pass events. Event is monster attack, player damage value, current monster health and current player health. Then in write to log are three conditions, won, loss and draw have been called here. The function here is of event game over. Here our game is getting over. We don't have any target, only the value is here. In place of value, we will put player won, monster won and draw. We will simply call these. Then in attack monster, I have called write to log. In this, in log event, I have told in if condition it is player attack. Then in else, if I have mentioned that it is strong player attack. Now log event is coming. Strong player attack in event, damage value, current monster health and current player health are coming. Then I have called it in player heal. In log event, the function of heal is coming. Heal value, current monster health, current player health, whatever I required, I did write to log. Then I called log button. Have added event listener in click and have called the function of print handler. What is print handler doing with console log? It is calling previously empty array which we had pushed as log entry object. It is passed in console log. The log button is coming from where? In index.html, there is the function of show log. Its ID is log. In vendor.html, we have taken it with get element by ID. Then I have called this log button here. If I see this function, we will run this. The value is 100 at start. Now, attack, then strong attack, then heal. No, we can't heal. So strong attack, then heal after that show log. These were all functions performed while playing the game. If I heal this again, we can call game over also. You won, then again called show log. In game events, game over is also coming. Game over is called because final monster health went in minus. It was 51.2. So its value is player won because monster health was less than player health. All the basics which we studied array, if else statements, how we make objects, how we declare variables, what does constants do. We have covered almost all these things in this video.